Good evening, everybody. It's Minister Lou. Happy Tuesday to you. Hope yours is going well. Mine's not doing too bad. I just came back from Bible study. Right now, <clears throat> we're reading out of the Apocrypha of the Bible. We are in the book of Judith on chapter 12. And she has been blowing smoke all over Holofernes. So let's just jump into this, shall we? Then he commanded to bring her in where his plate was set and bade that they should prepare for her of his own meats and that she should drink of his own wine. And Judah said, I will not eat thereof, lest there be an offense, but provision shall be made for me of the things that I have brought. And Holofernes said unto her, If thy provision should fail, how shall we give thee the like? For there be none with us of thy nation. <clears throat> then said Judith unto him, As thy soul liveth, my Lord, thy handmaid, shall not spend those things that I have before the Lord work by my hand the things that he hath determined. Then the servants of Holofernes, or Holofernes, it's, this this name throws me off. I'm just going to keep going with Holofernes. Because it's H-O-L-O-F-E-R-N-E-S. Brought her into the tent, and she slept till midnight. And she arose when it was toward the morning watch, and sent to Holofernes, saying, Let my lord now command thy handmaid, excuse me, let my Lord now command that thy handmaid may go forth unto prayer. So she's asking to go to pray. And Holofernes commanded his guard that they should not stay her. Thus she abode in the camp three days and went out in the night into the valley of Bethulia and washed herself in a fountain of water by the camp. And when she came out, she besought the Lord God of Israel to direct her way <clears throat> to the rising up of the children of her people. So she came in clean and remained in the tent until she did eat her meat at evening. And in the fourth day, Holofernes made a feast to his own servants only and called none of the officers to the banquet. Mm, so he's taking care of the servants. <laughs> then he said to Bagoas, the eunuch. Ooh, he was a eunuch? Mmm. Who had charge over all that he had. Go now and persuade this Hebrew woman which is with thee that she come unto us and eat and drink with us. For lo, it will be a shame <clears throat> for our person if we shall let such a woman go, not having had her company. For if we draw her not unto us, she will laugh us to scorn. And the Megoas went from the presence of Holofernes and came to her, and he said, Let not this fair damsel fear to come to my Lord, and to be honored in his presence, and drink wine. And be merry with us. And being made this day as one of the daughters of the Assyrians, which serve in the house of Nebuchadnezzar. I think that's Nebuchadnezzar. It's just, it's not spelled that way. It's N-A-B-U-C-H-O-D-O-N-O-S-O-R. And I know in the Old Testament they have it pronounced, spelled a little differently, but I'm pretty sure it's the same guy. Then said Judith unto him, Who am I now that I should gainsay my Lord? Surely whatsoever pleaseth him I will do speedily, and it shall be my joy unto the day of my death. And she arose and decked herself with her apparel and all her woman's attire, and her maid went and laid soft skins on the ground for her, over against Holofernes, which she had received of Bagoas for her daily use, that she might sit and eat upon them. Now when Judith came in and sat down, Holofernes' heart 
was ravished with her. So he was like, ooh, look at that. And his mind was moved, and he desired greatly her company, for he waited a time to deceive her from the day that he had seen her. So he's planning to trick her. Ooh. But trick her into what? Then said Holofernes unto her, Drink now and be merry with us. And Judah said, I will drink now, my lord, because my life is magnified in me this day more than all the days since I was born. Then she took and ate and drank before him what her maid had prepared. So she's still not eating his stuff. <laughs> and Hollow Furness. took great delight in her and drank much more wine than he had drunk at any time in one day. So he was drunk. Since he was born. So he was getting sauced. Oh man. Ugh. For some reason, I'm, I'm not even going to look at this. I'm going to put my hand over the next chapter. I want to save it for us, you know. But uh, he was getting sauced. And when people get sauced, things happen. That's all that I'm going to go on right now. And I'm actually looking forward to see what happens next. <sighs> like, this is wild. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing this. How this all plays out. We're 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, wow, we're almost done. There's only 16 chapters. Then is the rest of the chapters of the book of Esther, which are found neither in Hebrew nor in Chaldee. So I think this came from the Greek. But we will probably read the original book of Esther first, and then read the rest. Of Esther. Getting ahead of myself. But wow, <clears throat> this is getting wild. We're getting drunk. What does she plan on doing to save her people? This is good Jewish history. And this was in here for a reason, so there's ultimately going to be a lesson that we all learn from this. Oh wow, cross references Luke, Acts. Kings, Exodus, Genesis, Ruth, Daniel, Tobit, one and two. Like, wow, there's a lot of cross references I'm reading through this, too. So, wow. Daniel? So, this is wild. This is wild. I thank you all for taking the time to come and, <clears throat> excuse me, to hear this as I share it with you. Just wow. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, everyone. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is coming back. And he gave us this Bible for us to learn from, to have our, our guide, our hand manual, to be filled with the word of God to know the truth and when our Lord Jesus comes back he's going to take all his children and he's going to judge everyone that's left upon this earth and if you're not ready to meet him it's time to get ready by repenting of your sins and turning from them turn to him and accept him as Lord and Savior as the one God sent to us his only begotten son who died on the cross for us paid the penalty for our sins as he knew no sin and then rose again from the dead three days later time to come to know who our heavenly father is and how much he truly loves you I love you guys Jesus loves you guys and our heavenly father loves you guys Shalom <laughs>